What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about the reasons why people are broke from a cheapskate perspective. And yes, the cheapskate is me. From my last video, you could see my weekly expenses that were broken down in day by day basis. And that also considers the meals, the utilities, detergent, all that like random stuff, household stuff that I have to use in order to just maintain my body. From the general gist of the video, it does not take a lot for me to maintain, so that's why I consider myself being a really big cheapskate. Even though I do have some luxurious items, I just consider myself pretty frugal and pretty good with managing money. So without further ado, these are the reasons why I think people are broke nowadays. The first reason why I think people are broke nowadays is because they do not smash the like button. Holy cow. Did I just get you there? All right, in all seriousness, the main reason I think most people are broke nowadays is that they are willing to spend their money as soon as they get it. And an example that I could think of just off the top of my head and with us being in the tax season, when people get their tax refund, they think like, oh, I just got this unexpected extra income when it's really expected. That mindset of, I got money in my bank account, I got more money than I expected in my bank account, does not necessarily mean you should be spending it right there and then or splurging it on something that you do not necessarily need or have wanted for a long time. From my experience, most people think that once they get paid, they get their paycheck, they think they could just buy more expensive stuff now. I do not think that's the correct mindset that most people should have because at the end of the day, if you don't spend that money, the money is still going to be in your bank account. Like it does, just does not disappear when you don't use it, right? So when you have that mindset of thinking, I just got paid, I just got some money in my bank account just yesterday or something, and now I'm going to go out and go to Whole Foods and buy stuff rather than sticking to your local grocery store, which is probably a third of the cost of what you would spend at Whole Foods. At the end of the day, I think it's just not a good habit to have, not the good mindset to have either, because you're just always going to be spending and spending and spending as soon as you get the money. You will not have that habit of budgeting and having good habits of just planning out your purchases, especially large ones. And that's why I think most people, they cannot really strive further in their financial life. They, they can't go past of, they can't go past their paycheck. Like their paycheck is just what's keeping them alive. And as soon as they lose that, they have nothing to fall back on and they, they become broke. Like they start using their credit cards and they mismanage their credit cards where they start paying interest and you're paying like ex essentially like 25% more than what you should not be paying 25% more of because of your credit card debt and interest on that. This is one of the reasons why I think most people are broke nowadays is because they think they could live paycheck to paycheck and spend that money as soon as they get it and not consider the long-term value or the long-term investment or just long-term goals that they want to have. All right, so I cannot complain about this situation of other people's habits and stuff without giving a solution. For me, I get paid on the middle of the month, so the, like the 15th and also the end of the month. So my paycheck gets split two times in a month. I currently have a system where I have my paycheck automatically deposit into a savings account and a equivalent to a company 401k. I was about to say Roth, but that, that's not the case. It's basically a Roth 401k. And I automatically do these two things because one, I have, I want to purchase a second house just for investment property pur purposes. And also two, I want to prepare myself in order for retirement, right? Because not only do I want to prepare myself to be like a millionaire, legit like living, having a couple of million in my account when I'm retiring so I can live my last few years balling out, I am also taking into consideration that my company is matching whatever I put in for up to 5%. So if I deposit 
10%, it's the company maxes out at like 5%. 10% is probably a really safe number to have. So I deposit really 10% of my paycheck into my um, Roth 401k. So I essentially get 15% into my um, 401k and that helps me prepare for my retirement. I save up for those really two things. Like that's automatically invested into me, into myself. So I don't allow myself to, it, it, it's more of a hassle for me to, take money from those two accounts than to actually just swipe my card and then pay it off with my bank account. And this is just what I do and I am not legally able to help people with their finances. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't have any certifications. So take this with a grain of salt and do as you wish with your money. I recommend a lot of my friends to just have a recurring deposit, have a system that's automatically taking money out of your paycheck in order to push into several accounts will that will help you make money in the long term of things by having a system that automatically deposits some of your paycheck into different accounts it will allow you to save money automatically like you don't even have to think about it you don't have to do anything i legit every first of the month bam it goes into something else and I don't think about it. I don't touch it. If I try to touch it, like it takes a minute for me to do it. Like I consciously have to do it. Besides depositing a portion of your paycheck into a savings account or a, a retirement account, you should be considering how you are exactly spending your money day to day. And I'm talking about the places that you shop, the things you buy, and et cetera, right? It's very, very simple. It is so simple that most people think like, oh, I have money in the bank. That means I could buy whatever I want until I have zero on my balance. That That's not exactly the best way to practice on your finances. My recommendation is to budget budget certain things throughout each month. And of course, you take into consideration your family members and your holidays, things like that. So what I'm specifically saying is like during Christmas time or Thanksgiving or birthdays, inherently your finances should be budgeted to each month. And depending on what month it is, it will take into consideration your families, your holidays, your gifts, whatever that you need to take care of. It is there. I think it is very unwise for people to not budget mainly because you don't see the transactions and the type of habits that you are spending on. This is very important because it helps you control yourself. When you see how much money you have spent on a specific aspect of your life, you will understand what the heck. And then you start to realize, oh, I'm not putting enough money towards investments. I'm not putting more money towards things that could make me more money in the long run. And then these things start to click in your head. How I personally budget is using an app called Mint. It is free. It automatically tracks your spending. All you need to do is just create categories and also create your own personal budget. And when I say automatically, I mean automatically. Once you swipe your card, it links towards your Mint account and it will put into your budget how much money you have spent on that specific aspect that you categorize that transaction in. The nice thing about a budget is that you could use a budget to help you save for a specific big purchase. I'm talking about like cars, houses, down payment for whatever it is that you need to put a down payment on. You can do this using a budget. And you might be thinking to yourself, why would I need a budget if I have money in my bank account? At every month and at every paycheck. I agree that might be better than being broke, but you have to understand how you are spending your money because that's also very important. In addition to that, it helps you save money. So if you have a certain goal, bam, it is right there. Also, having a budget will increase the chances of you not ever being broke because you see your spending and then you control your spending just because of how many transactions that you have had and then you self-consciously make the decision that you're not going to spend on a certain category that you have been previously overspending on. With that being said, I really think those two things of not investing in themselves in terms of creating a retirement fund or a savings plan, and addition to that, just not budgeting correctly is why most people are broke. For those who are interested in what investment bank I use, I use Wealthfront and I have a referral code that you could use down below in the description. Once you click the link down in the description, it will enable you to deposit $5,000 without any management fees. 
I use Wealthfront mainly because it is so easy just to deposit money and then they will automatically invest on the money what they think I should get the best benefit from. Wealthfront knows what investments are best for me based on a quiz that I took when I initially create my account. It is basically a risk assessment quiz. From the results of the quiz, Wealthfront would then choose specific investments to go for and then purchase with your money. I have had a great experience with them. I'm not just saying this because the referral code also benefits me, but it is super helpful because I don't do any research. I legitimately don't have or want to use my time to research individual stocks, individual bonds, funds, things like that, when I could just give my money to Wealthfront and then they do all the research, they do everything for me. And it has worked out pretty well. I have made money through Wealthfront. I do have my Roth IRA with Wealthfront as well as a personal investment account. So I really have actually I also have my savings accounts with them. So you see, I have three different types of accounts with Wealthfront. So I really trust them in managing my money. If you are the type of person who does not want to put in time to research a little bit about the stock market, then Wealthfront is right for you, mainly because it is a set it and forget it type of investment account. Really is the easiest thing that you will ever do. And of course, like I said, your first $5,000 is managed for free. Just invest about $4,000 and in a year, hopefully you get a rate of return of like 10% and that's $4,400 right into your portfolio. And that is all for today's video. If you like this video and you've learned something or taken away from something or use the referral code down below, you can smash the thumbs up button because it really helps me grow the channel and hopefully I could give you guys more and more referral codes, more things that you could actually do and hopefully that will help you guys out build a better future for yourself thank you guys for watching again see you guys later see you later dude i had a different agenda switch out of focus it's not for the key used to be rapping in classes with pillows and blankets but they boy slept on my shit i done get everything to the best it just get lonely in the stress no i'm a hold a rice in my hand might just go turn the eyes to a fan yeah